Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and welcome back to another live stream on the internet. Today I'm playing some Minecraft Nintendo Switch Edition. So fresh, so clean, as you can very clearly tell. So yeah, today I'm playing Minecraft on the Switch for the first time, just to kind of give you a glimpse of what it looks like, as well as to just get my own kind of feel for it. Because the interesting thing about Nintendo platforms that I haven't been to experience in quite some time is they have the Super Mario Mashup Pack enabled by default. That's right, it's free with the game, unlike the other two platforms where you pay for it. Uh, I think the Switch Edition is a little bit more expensive, and as part of that, you get a couple of pieces of DLC, and you also get the Super Mario mashup. So yeah, I believe you get these, um, you know, some other texture packs for free if you really want them. But the Super Mario one is the one we're gonna be most interested in today. So we'll go in there in creative or survival with flying, I guess. Yeah, let's, let's go survival and flying, and uh, let's have a fun time, I guess. And we'll go peaceful just to like make our life that little bit easier. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's explore the Super Mario mashup. We got everything set up. I think we have. Uh, let's do this. So, oh, actually, before that, though, a lot of people are curious, like, oh, yes, yeah, so at what are the settings like? Is this more, you know, uh, current gen or is this more last gen? It is somewhere directly in between the two, which is, you know, a good wet thing in a few ways, uh, because as you can tell, the max world size is medium. That's the only key difference. There's a slight render difference thing. Uh, besides that, it's mostly fine. So big thank you for the one pound super chat already, uh, Conor McGamer. And also, hello, everyone else. Welcome to the live stream. Hope you're having an excellent Thursday evening. I know I'm going to because we're playing the Switch. So yeah, everything else is exactly the same as you'd expect. All the options are the same. All of the menus are the same. The one difference is the achievements are built into the game, which I like in some ways and, you know, because I like achievements. And everything else is just like, yep, we can do this. So today we'll be Cat Mario and we'll play the Super Mario Mashup World. Let's go straight into this. So as you can see, create world. Uh, create it. Uh, no, wait. wait. <laughs> Super Mario World. Uh, we're going then survival with Peaceful On. And then we'll just turn on some... Oh. I, I, I'm really bad at the controls uh, with the switch because everything's a tiny bit different for reasons we'll get into later. But yeah, just turn on host privileges, um, disable auto save, we don't really care about. And yeah, let's do this. All sorted. Let's see our first ever Minecraft Switch load. So, the first of all, by the way, isn't this the most wonderful like loading screen for any game ever? I think it is. We got like the Super Mario 64 theme playing. It's just. It's wonderful stuff in general. So yeah, the first thing I'm noticing actually is everything is a bit off because I haven't set it up like my other consoles. So this is the default set of controls and default set of um, sizes for everything. And you know, there's lots of tips coming from the screen telling me that, oh, this is carpet, so I can't, that's the thing that goes on the ground, lime carpet. But yeah, we're gonna turn all of that off right now. Here's how you set it up to be just like I do it. Cause I prefer it to be, uh, you know, set up like the way I do. So set game sensitivity. We'll just turn all the way up to 150. Just make us, our lives a little bit easier for ourselves. So 150. And then we're gonna turn off hints cause we don't need those. Uh, and then also we'll turn off, uh, I think it's in-game tool tips. Um, <laughs> there's a few of these that you just really don't wanna have on uh, too much. So opacity, I'll leave that how it is. But you, you can change a lot of these things on and off if you want to. But the big one is HUD size one. So there we go. Let's turn that off. And now we've got a game, oh, that looks a little bit more like I'm expecting. So the sensitivity's gone a lot higher than I'm used to, but I think we can do this just fine. So, Super Mario, ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is Lost and the mashup pack came out on the Wii U, this is Chuck Yoshi. Yeah, that's, um, I'm not I'm not gonna be playing it like fresh, like it's, uh, it's never been played before, but I haven't checked it out in a year, I think it would have been. Yeah, last May, I think it came out. So, I think it'd be kind of fun to check it out again, and that's why I'm, today in particular, I'm not in creative, but I'm in flying mode. So we can just kind of show you everything in quick build. Like, I'm not gonna go doing the music this quest, which by the way, you can do. If you do get the Switch, which I recommend if you have a Switch version, if you have a Switch, get the Switch version of Minecraft. I would recommend because it's Minecraft on that platform you already own. But yeah, there's a disc uh, quest where we can go down and collect stuff. But today, I just wanted to kind of check out some builds and show off how the game looks because while the game is docked, as in, in your thing, we've got a render distance, which looks pretty respectable. I mean, you can see a, a fair amount in every direction. Not quite as much as the Xbox One, but a little bit more than the Wii U, as far as I can tell. So that's all good news. And I believe it goes down a little when you put it off, when you put it out. But still, for now, six solid 60 FPS. I believe this is 1080p. I mean, you can double check that yourself if you want to. And in general, it's just looking kind of good. So yeah, we'll stand on Mario's head and we'll, we'll just kind of search everything because there's so much in this world that I love to see the first time. And I'm looking forward to seeing for the second time maybe. So yeah, let's go uh, first of all, uh, over like to the, I guess this is like bomb on battlefield. Yep, this is. So yeah, this is a Super Mario 64 course, I believe, or at least it's based on one. Uh, oh no, oh, no, this is um Super Mario World 1-1. One, one. So it's like all the world's different Mario levels and then there's giant stuff on the stage just cause again, they, they had the, I feel like if you work at 4J Studios and you're like, oh, by the way, we have the rights to work with Super Mario, uh, you know, now, uh, then it's gonna be so fun just to be like, yeah, We'll make a giant bomb on, or we'll make like Princess Peach or a metal box. There's, there's just so many cool things like that. But the biggest one, the one that I love the most, is um, Super Mario 64's uh, Peach's Castle. So 
this is the castle the entire game is set around and it's just so 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 amazing to see this <laughs> like in the flesh like the amount of like nostalgia i get when i see this place is just like whoa too much uh yeah so as you can see there's lots of doors around here the doors don't go anywhere because obviously you can't do the castle to scale properly but i believe one or two of them takes you to another place so this one for instance if you jump through the painting i think it takes you somewhere oh yeah <laughs> isn't that isn't that the best i love that you literally jump through the painting uh, it, it's, it's cool stuff but yeah um that is, that is our Super Mario 64 little world. So, because these are made out of iron bars, we can also check everything else going on here. So, oh, there's one of the discs. Didn't know that, that's kind of cool. So, yeah, as you can see, this is, you can explore a little bit. There's not really too much want or need to, but you can do it. So, ah, oh, there's nothing on this side, sadly. <laughs> Just some dev rack on the wall behind it. So, yeah, this is uh, Peach's Castle. Isn't this the best stuff? I think it is. But, um... This now takes Super Mario Sunshine. Just again, I want to give you the whole overview of this world before we go into survival and do some uh, stuff like that. So let's fly all the way along to here and then towards the end of that, jump up to here. And I believe this takes you to Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, okay, you know what? We can fly. Whatever. <laughs> this takes you to Super Mario Sunshine's level. So this is uh, Super Mario Sunshine, the second free game they made, or main series one. Uh, not quite as well received as the first, but still amazing game and very good game in general. And here it is in Minecraft. Isn't that the best? Look, it's the, it's the shine sprite on top of the tower. And, you know, look, there's the giant... Uh, I think this is where the first level took place, like this paint on the wall or whatever. I'm just saying, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on around here. So, uh, you can't see paintings from the back. No, you can't in this um, mashup pack, and indeed a few. They use it to make some of the stuff work cleverly. I, you know, it's, it's one of the things they do. So, yeah, and there's the volcano. This is uh, the final level. I don't think I ever actually got to it when I played Sunshine, but you can run around the thing, and there's a, a disc in here, and uh, that's another one, right? So, yeah, this is what you can do for all of them. I don't need it, though, so I'll just throw that in the ocean. Let's just show you a few more things before we uh, move away, away from here, because there's just so many things that I'm like, whoa, big pixel art that makes, makes the Switch edition look amazing, right? So, you know, look over here and like, oh, this is the one of the icy levels, but seen from above. Just lots of pixel art, basically. Lots of amazing stuff to check out. And, oh, no, wait, wait, one, one more thing. I, I know I keep saying one more thing, but that's how great all of these things are. Because this last thing is Boo's Mansion. Or just a giant Boo. I, I recall it being Boo's Mansion, but okay, giant Boo it is. And uh, this is one of the, if, if you do play this in survival, make sure you check this out. Because I believe it's some form of puzzle to get the last disc. So, you walk in the thing. And then, yeah, it's, it's like a, it's a puzzle and a puzzle and a puddle. I had so much fun doing that, and you probably will too. Also, I love Super Mario Sunshine, so it's Thunderboy Gwen, right? I, it's very, very fun. Oh, can we go through this? Oh, we can, okay. So yeah, it's a series of like levers that open doors, that open doors. It wasn't quite as complex as I figured at first, but it is like an interesting little puzzle in my opinion. So would recommend it if you wanna, <laughs> you know, have some fun in Boo's Mansion, which I think is based on the N64 level, but you know, it might just be Boo's Mansion in general. Boo's Mansion in general. So yeah, this is Super Mario Mashup Pack. This is the this is one of the big sells if you haven't played the Wii U version yet. I feel like this is the same thing with Mario Kart 8, right? Where I recommend it if you do not have a Wii U. If you have a Wii U, I would say wait till they do save transfers. But if you do, if you haven't got a Wii U, you just got a Switch, and you're wondering is Minecraft worth checking out? This world by itself is like there's a lot of interesting stuff to be done. I have a lot of I had a lot of fun when it first came out. And I'm even having a little bit of fun right now, just going like, oh, look, it's this thing and that thing. And you probably will too. So let's back out of it and let's show you some survival gameplay now. So I'm going to be honest, these controllers are a little bit uncomfortable for Minecraft. Uh, let me show you. Let's turn on the face cam. So I wasn't expecting to be on face camera thing. Hello. Oh, I'm wearing the Trump shirt. Okay, so <laughs> this is what my controllers look like. Um, again, there's a, there's, a, there's a funny joke. Like, let's, let's just not question it at all, right? So um, as you can see... We got the two controls like that. And because I'm holding the controller separately like this, it kind of makes things a little bit tricky to properly control. I don't know what's going on there. So uh, yeah, I prefer a little bit planet says Mega versus Prime. I think everyone prefers the platform they have, but that's a thing, right? So yeah, let's go into survival. Let's play normal difficulty. And let's go into my first Switch world. So my, oh, okay, it's just my. Oh, it's not even my, I pressed the wrong button. I, all of the, um. All of the uh, buttons on the Switch, like, they're slightly different to other platforms. So I always press the wrong one because they had to mix it up. So, uh, M, you know, just, let's just call it Mai. Mai. Mai's a good name. And then we'll go into Seed. Blank is good. And then the largest world size we can is Medium. I always recommend Classic regardless and then Expand later. But we'll go for Medium now and try and show you the scale of the world in Survival a little bit. And let's do this, I guess. Let's, let's just go, see what happens. Play some survival. Should be fun. Should be fun. So, uh, Mary Odyssey hypes this SADX fan 9211. Yeah, SAD. Uh, sorry, Mary Odyssey is going to be a really amazing game. I'm, 
I'm looking forward to it a lot because every game that's come out for the Switch so far has been great fun. So I imagine that one will be too. Also, uh, <laughs> everyone's questioning the jump shot. It's a funny joke because I'm British and yeah, you know, no, no one gets it. Even literally earlier today, there was a guy at the store and he's like, oh, you're a brave man wearing that. And I'm like, we live in the United Kingdom. You know, he's not our, it's a, it's a funny joke here, right? You know that? And I, he just didn't get it. He just didn't get it at all. <laughs> no, no, no one gets the joke. It was meant, it was, it was this great thing. It was a souvenir from Washington DC. Cause I went, um, I think I went, on the day of the inauguration by accident because I'm an idiot and I was like yeah we'll, we'll pick up a shirt for this and I'll confuse people because I had a friend in America at the time who very much hated I'm just saying I it was a fun thing and no one gets the joke because everyone's terrible oh I just got an achievement look how cool that I really 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 love the uh, the way that shows up there's something <laughs> amazing about the achievement icon so yeah let's open our map and we'll walk towards the edge of the world I think uh, just so I can show you how far it is in relation to the spawn in any direction, I guess. So yeah, we'll walk this way. We'll chop down some trees so we can get some coal because this is the easy opportunity we have for coal, honestly. And we'll just we'll just do this as we go. So we'll also get a bunch of achievements as we do so, which, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I have too many different achievements on too many different platforms for Minecraft. Okay, so here you can see all of the achievements. They have no description. Oh, they do. You have press Y. Oh, that's clear. Oh, that's a nice system. So yeah, they, they incorporate the achievement system in here, even though you might figure that wouldn't be possible. As you can see, they disagree. They think it very much is possible. And this is the proof. So we can play mini games later, but there'll only be people playing who have the, you know, whatever version this is. Turn down the music volume. Uh, good idea. I don't, I don't like music. I turned it down a lot to like 40%, but Minecraft music's just like, I love it so much, but it's awful for videos because it just goes right through. So we'll go down to like 26 and 78. Because those are nice round numbers, right? And yeah, let's do this. Is this only for Nintendo? Says Bunsy Rabbit. Um, this is the console version of Minecraft that's currently available on all other platforms. Um, but we're playing, even though it's available for all other platforms, we're currently playing it on the... Um, we're playing it on the Switch. This is the newest version. This is the exciting new thing. It's honestly... Um, it's, a, it's basically an updated version of the Wii U, like for new specs. And that's kind of that going on. Oh my goodness, click at your funny, says Crockler. See, I'm glad someone gets it. Jeez, that's how you're meant to laugh at jokes. Chat. <laughs> Bad, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. You should be doing that. Um, the rose. Oh, that's a new noise. Do you hear that? There's something weird about that. In fact, look, look in the bottom left. All of these control, just, they look weird to me. Like, I haven't seen Nintendo Switch controls yet. And they all seem a little bit off to me. I, I don't know what's wrong with them, but something is wrong. And that's what matters. Uh, big thank you for the one pound super chat, Jay Davis. Uh, I appreciate it. Helps out the chat a lot, and lets me know you do like the thing. Uh, now I can't hear the music at all. Says Lego for Life Studios. Yeah, the music went away, right? Wait, let's check. Yeah, there, there is just no music. What we're we gonna do actually? We're gonna go back out. Let's go out and let's go in with the Super Mario mashup pack, right? Because we can do that. We can play any world with this, and let's see how much better it looks. Oh, there we go. There's the music we need. There's the music we need. <laughs> oh, wow. This is okay. You know, this is the color we need. If we're going to be playing on the Switch, let's at least play it colorfully, right? That's that's all we need to do. Um, instead of uh, calling a console function to trigger the achievement, it just shows it itself, says Mr. Techie Gaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but I, th I, I think the fact that they had to set up the whole system was like, yeah, that's, that's wonderful. I really want to switch so badly. Yeah, the Switch is a cool console. Oh, wait, wait, actually, wait. Let me show you. Um, Something you might want to see is the switch in undock mode. So after we mine this and we start walking, I'll take it out of the dock and I'll show you how you can literally go from, this is in console mode, right? Picture this being an Xbox One or whatever. This is hooked up to my capture card. And in just a few seconds, if I wanted to, which we do. Oh, the, the, the crafting table is a question mark box. That's amazing stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll now mine this up. We've got all the coal we probably need for a while. Oh wait, no, no, we want to get a stone pickaxe first. That's always what you want to do. Like, just while we can, we might as well make our life a tiny bit easier for future Toy Cat. See, I, I the, honestly, the, ooh, the, the review of this texture pack, I'd say, is like, it's solid. I think it, I think they might have even improved it for survival, because there was a couple of issues, so I couldn't recommend it for survival last time. But looking around at this, this is just like colorful, vibrant. We got way better music, right? Everyone can hear the, um, I think this is the menu theme from Super Mario 64. 
It's just, it's delightful, right? I'm smiling at least. Hopefully all of you are smiling too. If you're not smiling, try smiling. You know the, you know the phrase, fake it till you make it? Sometimes that works. I think that applies to smiling. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm, oh look, the arrow is a natural arrow. That's wonderful too. So yeah, we're gonna, by the way, Cat Mario. <laughs> what we're gonna do now is we're gonna walk this way and I'm gonna quickly switch it out to dock mode as we do so. Oh, the music stopped again. I wonder why that was. Okay, so as you can see, playing just like normal here. My capture card is not okay with me unplugging it from the... <laughs> okay, so I tried to unplug it to show you what it looked like when it was like out of the um, dock, but my capture card does not let me do that when I'm streaming. And I'm streaming using its software, so I have to kind of follow its rules. So there you go. Now we know, now we know what happened. <laughs> but the music's all gone now, just entirely. Should we turn it up a bit, maybe? Audio. Okay, that, that made it start again. I don't know how, I don't know what. But apparently that's, music volume must be like a current or something. Who knows, who knows. But let's go on our journey to, uh, I don't know, I, I guess we'll go to the edge of the world. Show you how far away it is, give you kind of a feel for it. Because I believe it's 1,500 and... Oh, I don't know the exact number of blocks. Uh, I could work it out, actually, but... It's some number of blocks away. But we can kind of skip a bit of that. So, yeah, let's make ourselves a boat. Oh, spruce boat. Oh, we've got spruce wood. I couldn't tell, because that's a thing. I have a cat called Cookie. Me too. We both have cat school cookie, isn't that wonderful? Oh, I haven't seen all the boats in this text pack yet, actually. So as you can see, this looks pretty good in my opinion. This is Mario riding a boat in Minecraft. He's not doing a lot of his arms, I'm gonna be honest. There's a little bit of an immersion break when it comes to what's going on here, but that's a thing regardless. So uh, please show us the game chat settings. Uh, if, if we did decide to capture card tonight, to cat. Yeah, that, that was uh, a pretty rough moment there, right? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta love this this game. Those are the mobs, by the way. So some cow dogs just killed the Cooper, but we want the we want the meat, so we'll we'll accept that for now. Um, oh, we could take a dog with us as well if we wanted to. Yeah, let's let's force one into the boat. Sure. In you go. <laughs> so now it's me, my trusty dog, cow thing. I don't know what I, this is a Super Mario mob. I know, but I don't know which one. So an unnamed, you know, monster of mysterious origin. We'll take this with us, and let's see how far south we can go. Because again, I feel like medium isn't a world size people use very often on the Xbox One and PS4, because you always you always go with classic or you go with the largest one you have. Those are the only two world sizes that make any sense, usually. But I feel like this game has a little bit of an exception. Uh, why is the hub bar at the bottom? Uh, yeah, I did actually wonder if it's meant to be all the way down there. It's either a glitch with the Switch, or it's something that's going to be coming to other editions soon. Uh, I, If I had to guess, it's maybe a glitch, because if we go to, um... If we go to HUD Size 2... Oh no, it's it's down there still. Okay. Let's go to HUD Size 3, just to be... Just to be a little humorous. Yep, that's that's what it looks like. Nice and uh, reasonably sized... Oh, what, what just happened? Um, Nice and reasonably sized HUD right there. So, yeah, I don't know what's going all the way at the bottom. I don't think that's how it is in other platforms, but... I'm not sure I know enough to be 100%. That's a weird looking dog, uh, says Liam Vladimir. I, I don't know what's wrong with the dog, but there's definitely something going on here. Uh, oh, the dogs are Poochie from Yoshi's Island. Oh, Poochie. I didn't know there was a dog named Poochie in the Mario franchise. But now I do. Thank you very much <laughs> for the knowledge about Poochie. So yeah, the, I think the, uh, the issue with this might be the fact that lots of biomes look kind of similar. Or maybe I just, I can't spot them yet, but like, that swamp was a bit weird, but it looked like a normal forest, so. Mate, we'll, we'll see what's going on here later. Uh, so cat, are you gonna make any more Minecraft videos or live streams on the Switch? Says so just a cat, and someone else says something else. Um, so yeah, will I make more Switch content? I'm gonna make a video comparing it, and then we'll see after that, honestly. I'm not too sure. I just wanna just kinda play it for a bit, show off the game, and then decide regular content afterwards. Uh, I'll likely make a video for tomorrow, tonight, but you know, who, who can... I, okay, if you don't know, I'm catching a flight in less than 10 hours. So I've got to sleep pretty soon after the stream. Uh, but I, 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 I'm, I'm hoping I have the time to 
not only upload all videos the weekend, but also make another one. So yeah, we can't get through here with our dog boat, so we'll leave it be. Because we're so close to the edge of the world anyway. We'll just do the rest on foot. Oh, we didn't get any wool, did we? Oh no, we got wool, it's fine. So we'll take this, we'll put it there. And we can craft a bed for tonight, if need be. If, if need be. Do, 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 do. I, lo I love all the Super Mario music. It's just all too upbeat and happy. Like, you just you just get into the jam of it. It's, it's, it's amazing stuff, it's amazing stuff. Uh, so can you try an online session with a worldwide battle or something? I'm gonna give that a try. I don't think it'll work because I there shouldn't be enough copies of the Switch out there. But we'll see. Maybe someone's playing something. Maybe I'm not meant to try and play something. Because again, the game, it has its official launch in five hours. Um, I think, I, so a, a lot of other regions got their, you know, if they're press or YouTubers or whatever, got their codes a few days early. But there was an issue of like EU codes or something. But anyway, it's, it's good stuff. Better than Wii U? Uh, yeah, if you, if you have a Wii U already, I wouldn't say upgrade just for Minecraft. But if you have a Switch and you didn't get a Wii U, definitely get this. That would be my 100% recommendation. Because it's it's Minecraft. I can take on the go of me now. I can play this tomorrow if I already want to. And that's that's revolutionary for me. Because, oh, we have found ourselves an Ice Spikes biome next to a Mesa. I don't think that's a very common combination. Oh, anyway, we have to make a bed. Let's do this. Oh, the bed's nice and yellow, lovely. So we'll sleep in our bed. Get this all sorted. Oh, wonderful. So, um... So you can't, can I have your friend code? Uh, the thing about the Switch friend codes is they're really long and, like, really tricky. And I figure, you know what, let's just, like... You can have me on any, any other platform if you want to. But on the Switch, I'm just going to try and keep that friends list private. I hope that's not too offensive a decision. Hopefully you do understand. It's not on the bottom because it's floating, but I can fool my friends a bit easily. Oh yeah, it's float. It's it's floating by the tiniest bit actually. You're right. But it's it's very close to the bottom. It's a lot closer than it is on other platforms, I think. I'd have to watch one of my own videos to be certain. But yeah, here you can see we just we spent the past some good amount of time actually, maybe ten minutes walking, and that's how long it takes you to get to the edge of the world. So. It's a lot bigger than your Wii U size world. It's a lot bigger than your 360 size world or your PS Vita size world. But it's a little bit smaller than the other worlds. And the size of that would be about, in terms of distance to the edge, about half the distance. So if, if this was an Xbox One, I could walk another thousand blocks in that direction. But because this is a Switch, you end up here, which isn't necessarily a negative thing. I think it's still pretty good you can go this far. Oh, there we go. But yeah, is it worth it since I have a Vita? I would, I would say the upgrade from Vita is also totally worth it, because, you know, this is like fully functioning Minecraft current gen, just of like certain limitations and whatever. So, yeah, that's kind of a thing. So, um, watch the Switch fail, just like the Wii U. I think the difference between the Switch failing and the Wii U is, uh, you know, the potential to fail, is that the Switch has good games from like day one. There's like Zelda Breath of the Wild, then there's Mario Kart 8. Then there's going to be uh, Mario Odyssey. And then they'll announce, you know, like Mario Kart 9 sometime soon. And then there'll be a Mario Party game. You know, you can you can imagine how there's going to be a library that keeps on expanding. Whereas the, the Wii U had this big issue where it didn't have any good games, so no one would buy it. So they didn't want to release good games for it because they would waste their, you know, game development time. It was, it was like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Of like, if you release a console without games, people won't buy it. So no one will want to make games for it. But the Switch doesn't have that issue yet, I believe. Do, 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 do. So that was a fun walk to the edge of the world, honestly. Uh, there, sh there should be an achievement for that. I think that was a, that was an experience I enjoyed. But now we have to walk back through the ice spikes, find my dog boat, and then we'll settle down, make a house or something. Maybe we can make a house on top of one of these spikes. Yeah, if we chop down a bunch of trees, we could do that. Just have a house spike. It could be beautiful. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we'll make the most beautiful house the world has ever seen. And that's just that's just how we roll, apparently. <laughs> so yeah, we've even got like a big forest here. This might be the place I walked in, in fact. I think it is. Okay, perfect. OMG, there's a new glide map called Kitty Cat. That would be a good name for a glide map if it was real. Makeup by Izwa. Izwa? Izwa, sure. Uh, <laughs> so let's go ahead, craft ourselves some more spruce planks. Because we need another craft. Oh, we don't need another craft table. We got one just over here. And we're going to make a, a miniature house, just just for giggles and fun. After we make a stone axe, actually. Yeah, just because, you know, we, we might as well. There's, there's no reason not to. 
Or we can make an iron axe, even. You know, we, yeah, we, we're going down this rabbit hole. We'll make an iron. And then we'll make, yeah, we'll make a beautiful house. On top of a nice spike. With a ladder going up to it. And then we'll do it that way. Perfect. Make your house for Shrine to Poochie. That's not a bad idea, Chuck Yoshi 64. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not a bad idea at all. You know, I can totally do that. Oh, I also need a furnace for all my meat that will otherwise not go anywhere, so. We got, we got multiple reasons to do this. Okay, there we go. Got a bunch of stone. Hopefully enough stone. Yeah, we can assume this is enough stone. So yeah, you can see my, my movements are a little bit awkward. But uh, it's just because playing one in each hand is like, not perfect. I think these PV builds don't have anything, says Tom Sonic 41. Um, no, this is the full release version that's coming out in a few hours. Um, to my understanding. Like, don't expect anything to magically pop up later, I wouldn't say. But you know, you, you can expect anything you want. It's just not always a good idea. So roll, no wait, we'll cook the iron ore first. Oh, we got the sleeping piranha music. I think most of this game's soundtrack comes straight from Super Mario 64. Which is amazing and weird at the same time. Also, look, it's a Bowser furnace. Look, because it, 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 Bowser, isn't that great? I think that's great. You all on board with that? You should be. You really should be. I then get times two. Acquire hardware. Okay. We got ourselves an iron ingot. Nice stuff. Okay. Construct a better pickaxe. Do 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 do. Yeah, that's like again every every single even this it gets me nostalgic. This is literally just sleepy music. And I'm still like, yeah, so great. Uh, <laughs> I should, I, I should get myself uh, checked into like Mario Music Rehab or something. But yeah, let's do this. Let's strip down our trees. We just need like, let's call it a stack of wood. Um, and then we'll use like spruce wood for the pillars, and we'll just make a lovely triangular hat. Wait, actually, what shape would be best for Super Mario? You know, I'm gonna say the best shape would be like a cube, but with question marks on it, like this crafting table. Actually, yeah, let's look at the crafting table. So we want yellow with white, or, because we can't really do that, we'll go with, like, wood. No, okay, we'll go with oak wood planks for the yellow, and then birch wood planks for the white. It's not going to look perfect, but it should look pretty good. Seeing fireflies by our city, says Jade Wilson Claws Longtail. I tried to do that a few times for um, for my, my voice, the, the Alexa thing. Uh... And let me just tell you that it, like, I, I apparently Alexa doesn't recognize those songs, and that's because I'm not good enough to sing them. Hate to break it to you. This music is actually the music for many games, says JCS, JCS Man. Is it really? I did not know that. That is amazing if that's the case. Like, that makes, that makes them feel a lot more fun, because you're, like, all playing as Mario characters, beating each other up and stuff. I feel, I, I, I feel, I'm, I'm so surprised Nintendo's okay of that, like, yeah. Just put our characters in Minecraft while you will beat each other to the death or whatever. I guess it's like Smash. Wait, maybe you'll wait, maybe we'll see like Steve inside one of the next Smash games. You'd have to be. Yeah. I, okay. You know, just came up with that idea right now. Imagine Smash Bros. Five comes out for the Switch, and it has Steve as a playable character. I could totally see that being a real thing. We need to eat like now or a few seconds ago even, but now also works. Go go go! Raw beef. Save me, raw beef. <laughs> well, I guess it'll be cooked beef by the time it's done. Um, when is the compatible world coming from the Switch to the Wii U? Um, so that's something they said that's coming at some point later down the line. They haven't said exactly when, but they've said it will be coming, and that's all we need to know. Well, not all we need to know, but it's all we get to know, <laughs> which is about, about the same. All the Mario music is great. I recognize some. Not much of the older stuff, though. So this is... Um, this is one. This is a theme that played for Rainbow Ride and also the Stair. Well, there are a few little mini games, um, elsewise as well. So uh, make the door where the bottom of the question mark would be. Says uh, Chuck uh, Yoshi sixty four. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. We'll make we'll make a door there. And actually, is that gonna work? Yeah, if we're gonna do this properly, which I don't know if we can. Yeah, we've got big questions to answer. Um, yeah, I'd have to make the, the bottom of the question mark be two doors. So we'll go do that now, actually, because we've got full hunger sorted. Roll mutton in. Cook beef out. 
let's do this. So these are regular trees, right? No, they're spruce trees. Oh no, I'm okay. Change of plan. Oh no, wait, that's terrible. Okay, well I've got a whole stack of spruce wood now. <laughs> what can I use that for? Okay, we're gonna have to change plans. We use the spruce wood for the corners of the box to make it be like outlined. Okay, that's what we use it for. Totally not worthless. So we totally didn't make a mistake. I'm glad. Glad everyone was there to see that no mistakes were made. <laughs> Definitely no mistakes. What's? Oh, is that a chicken? What? What are you? A rabbit? Oh, that's a chicken. <laughs> Okay, okay, that that makes sense. No, that's uh, everything makes sense now. I I, I was confused and now I understand everything in the world. <laughs> no more questions. No more questions. So, cat, can you do more live battle mini game? Uh, yeah. Well, if this game comes out, sure, I'll, I'll give that a try. That could be fun. Uh, no, so cat, it's not gonna be Steve. It'll be an Ocelot skin. I know it's real because it was on the Doctor Phil chat. What is the Doctor Phil chat, and why is this a reputable source in your opinion? That's the question I have to ask now. Oh, this is a birch forest. I can only get the birch trees. Wonderful. Do, 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 do. So this is um, this is from the frosty levels. So along the snowman, you know, if you might recognize them, you might not, but just in case you want to know it. I would recommend, honestly, Super Mario 64. I hate when people say this about like movies and stuff, so feel free to hate me when I say this about video games. But I feel like Super Mario 64 is like such an essential game to try. Because it's just, it's, you know, it's, it, it's how platform, it was the first game that did 3D platforming right, and it did it so well that it sticks out in my memory, what, like 20 years later? And that's, that's impressive. 100% recommend it. Goombas are great as chickens. Why this sounds the same. Uh, I guess they only have so many powers they can change with a matchup pack. But I, I love the fact that that, that Goomba decided to be the chicken. Makes no sense, but it's perfect at the same time. So yeah, we'll chop down the last of this tree, and then we'll go over to the, uh, back to bed, and we'll have most of the blocks we need to make our thing happen. In fact, let's, let's place our bed there tonight. Oh look, there's a bunch of Goombas around. <laughs> they lay eggs? What, what is this, what is this mad, like, okay, sure, whatever. Oh, it's okay, have you switched A and B in the controls? No, I should do that right now, though. Um, controls. Switch A and B. Oh, it's it's like normal Minecraft control. No, I'm I'm used to the other one now, so I'm not sure. Yeah, this is okay. Now we're at like normal Minecraft controls. It'll take me a while to get used to this, but we're good. Oh, that's that's a really good tip. Okay, thank you very much. Um, gonna find out who said that. Um, who, who asked? Oh, someone someone gave me a very glorious idea. Thank you very much. I can't find your name in the chat again, but I really appreciate you, Mister. Gave me the A and B tip. Also known as save, literally save my life. That's what it is. Just would have would have slowly killed myself if it weren't for that, and now I don't have to. Isn't that wonderful? Why don't you order another pizza? Says Crush Kai. Um, I I ordered a pizza last time because someone donated and said buy yourself a pizza, and I said sure. That sounds like a thing I can do. So sure, if you want to donate but so you can't buy a pizza, you can. I really wouldn't recommend it because I, you know, I've got a flight in some number of hours, but I I won't back down from a pizza promise. Jump on the Goombas toy cat. That would that might be a fun idea actually. That might be a fun idea. So yeah, let's make a bunch of ladders now. So spruce wood into sticks. Into that should be enough ladders, right? Oh no. Okay, it's a skeleton in the water. We're good. We're good. Oh, even more. Okay, so this is um not Rainbow Road, but something like Rainbow Road. Oh wow, you see that arrow come all the way from over there. It was especially slow. I gave the MB tip to a cat that says Nick Ravenclaw. Thank you very much, uh, Nick Ravenclaw. It has, saved, it has saved my life. Too amazingly. There should be a battle map and a glide track based on this mashup pack. I'm surprised there's not. I would love to see it. I guess they'd have to release it for free, but you know, it, would, it would be good. Make it happen is all I'm saying. Make it happen. So yeah, 51 is probably enough ladders to get to the top of one of those. In fact, I want to go to the top of that one, though. So let's go see if it is. And if it is, that's wonderful. Can we even place ladders on the side of um, these though? Let's find out right here. Because if not, we have to make something. Okay, we can. It's wonderful. 
So we'll make our ladder go around the back. No, the side, the side. Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. This is hard. So we'll just kind of go up like this, maybe? Yeah, just spam the click until we get there. And then we'll go house afterwards. Was the pizza nice this plains? It was a lovely pizza. Thank you for asking. Just joined. Haven't watched a stream ages as April checker troop. It has been a while. Good to see you around after all this time. Uh, Mushroom Kingdom battle map confirmed. That would be a good one, right? I, I'd love to see a, a Mushroom Kingdom battle map. Also, look at the, the sun. The sun is the uh, the shine sprite thing from um, Super Mario Sunshine. Just every, everything in this mashup pack is just a lovely reference to something. And that's the best. That really is the best. Okay, so now we're at the top. I want to make my house... Yeah, we'll just remove this. And then we'll start building the house, I guess. So this has to be the center. But the center... We can't go nine by nine. Actually, I guess we can go 9 by 9 Whatever. Who's going to stop me? <laughs> no one's going to stop me. That's who. So, yeah, we'll go... Okay, if it's 9 by 9 we need a lot more than this. So let's just start and see what happens, I guess. Okay, this is harder to start than I figured. <laughs> oh, I missed, I missed one of these blocks, too. Oops. So, uh, there we go. All sorted. Oh, no. Darn it. <laughs> this is a great stream, says Crush Kai. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I hope you're having an excellent stream, and indeed, why not life? Okay, so let's go... How many blocks this way? I guess we'll go like 9 by 9 and then we'll just build up from that. So yeah, this will be the outline of the box. I figured this was a way darker wood, but it's just not. So, 2 to 7, and then 2 more to 9. And then we'll go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. In theory, that should be good. Okay. We're the same over here. Been doing exams and stuff. Still happening too. Ah, uh, it's good to see you here regardless. Toy Cat, when did you stop the classic crafting? Um, most... I, I, I stopped because just like... It's so much easier sometimes to just look at the things rather than like craft them. It's just, it's just, it's just a little bit easier. So we'll take a quick break from this. So exit. See that magic loading screen again. And let's show what happens when we try to go to mini games. Because there might be someone out there doing something. Let's just, let's just see. Oh, the join menu will allow you to join public games. Play as one of your friends. Any game by any... Oh, no games at all. Okay. So we go for Tumble. Any game, any. Oh, there might be one out there. There might be one out there, guys. Ah, oh, there, there is zero people playing Tumble or Battle right now. And, again, I believe that's because... If you look on the store, um, that's Toy Cat using the eShop. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do. Doodly do. <laughs> I do love the eShop. Um, I mean, I think I think the Nintendo eShop is the cutest of the eShops. That is an award it definitely gets. So if you look at coming soon, Minecraft's still in there. Uh, for some reason, there's, there's no way to buy it or anything yet. Yes, yeah, this release date is tomorrow, uh, for some reason. But yeah, we've also got Fumper, got these other games, Arms and Splatoon 2. Lots of games releasing, is my point. So let's close the eShop. Let's go back to Minecraft Switch. And I guess we'll also check out, like, uh... Oh, we also can't check out the Minecraft store, because it's in the same menu. We could try and join a world, but same problem. <laughs> let's let's go back to this whole thing. So let's go back into it. I'm going to make this giant question mark box house. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be the best house you've ever seen. You trust me. You trust me. So I'll take a quick drink. Oh, no. One of my controls is, like, slightly angled. Which one is it? What's wrong? Okay. So I'll take a quick drink. So you can see the speed that the chunks load in is a little bit slower, again, than the Xbox One PS4. Like, over there, you can see it's still loading in. This isn't an issue they're immune from, but I find it's less abrasive over there. And uh, also, we can check right now, the rough chunk distance um, is actually, I think it's about 10 chunks. Again, a little bit higher than the Xbox 360. So we can see over to there. We can't see beyond that, which is... Uh, Especially interesting. So yeah, that's uh, now place of lock up here. Again, we want to go for nine. So, oh, wrong button. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just. Oh no. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll have to jump down now. And then we'll also place it lock here. Ah, there we go. Why did you buy one to switch? Um, I figured it would be a fun game to play, and I played it with a friend, and it was a fun game to play. <laughs> would entirely recommend it. It gets really intense because you have to like stare at each other in the eyes the whole time. It's like 
would, would recommend if you like staring at people in the eyes. Which is one of my hobbies. Oh, I should have centered this way better. I'm, how did I miss that? That is like, whatever. You know, we missed it, but it's fine. Uh, why is the date? Day, day, month, month. Um, yeah, 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 says Casey Mill. Um, it's a British thing. Wait, where is the date? It doesn't say the day anywhere, does it? Was it on the eShop? Oh, yeah, it was for 12.05. Um, that's, uh, it's, it's the British way of doing dates. And indeed, I think it's the international standard. Oh, the international standard's like year, year, month, month, day, day. But yeah, the American system just confuses everyone else. So now you get to feel how, Amer how the whole world feels about American dates. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll do the same across there. Oh, we ran out of spruce wood, actually. I should have thought about this, but I did not. <laughs> so now we're gonna use birch wood for question marks. And I guess we'll just make the entire underside of it birch planks too. Because why not, right? What's gonna go wrong with that idea? Oh, these are just pure white. Which is good in one way, but weird in another. So this is the floor to my very lovely house. Uh, I hope you're all enjoying it. It's it's a pretty nice looking house, I think. Like, I'd be happy living on top of a nice spike in real life. Like, if we're, if we're being entirely honest with ourselves here, right? Like, there, there are two types of weather people like. Really, really hot weather and really like bland, or really, really cold weather. Like, I, I love mountains, I love like crazy snow and stuff. And um, I'm just saying, wouldn't it be, if you're not gonna get hot weather, might as well get this stuff. In America, it's month, month, day, day, why, why, why? Yeah, it is, it's um, it's slightly backwards in America. Cause the, the, the okay, so there's, there's the logic behind them is that in America, they actually say May 9th or May 10th, May 11th right now. So you write it the same way you say it. Whereas the British system, we do say, you know, the 11th of May. And also, um, it's more in order. So you don't have, like, again, it's, it's, it's a lot harder to learn this way around, I think, or the American way around, than our way around. But, you know, that's just because I'm used to my system. So, okay, Legend of Zelda mashup. Um, I don't know if or when that will be happening. I'd love to see it, though. So, yeah, we have to make another crafting table, like, just for reference, honestly. So we'll place it down right here in the center. And so if we want to have, okay, we'll have our doors be right here then. But on the other sides, they can't be doors. They could be windows, but let's not. Let's just, just have a free wide question mark. It can't be free wide, can it? Yeah, it's about one third the width. If it had to be one or two or three, it would be free. So maybe this is a big mistake. No, if it's, okay, if it's seven blocks, it has to be one then. Okay, I made a big mistake. <laughs> so let's, and then after this, we go up like a regular wood again. We don't have any of that. And then we go back to this for our question mark. So just as the hypothetical, let's just, you know, show you how it would look. Make all of this into birch planks too. So this is, this is how my question mark could in theory look. This is a, a prototype question mark, if you will. Uh, bear in mind, it's a work in progress or whatever. Oh, wrong button again. Do, do, do. Oh, no. Yep. Mistakes have been made, I think. Oh, no, no. We're good. We're good. And then back down one or back down two. You know what? Let's just place a block down there. I think we made a mistake there, but again, I was just following it as close as I could. And now we'll jump into the water. If we can make it that. No, 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 no. I can't make it. Okay, it's, it's safe. My, my sprint didn't activate. That was terrifying. <laughs> Mario Kart inspired uh, Minecraft racing game. That would be pretty amazing, right? There you go, tweet it at 4J Studios. Make them make, make it happen. Mistakes were made to be made since then, but never. That's a perfect way to put it. I went for a walk out of den. I met a uh, very friendly kitty with little white feet. Looked like he had socks on. Oh yeah, that's, uh, when, when cats are like all one color and then white um, feet, it, like, it, it generally looks like socks and it's like, I'm pretty sure we breed cats just to like make that happen because it's pretty cute when it does. So that's that's my official theory anyway, because it's, again, it's always so adorable. But it's so common too, it's like, maybe one in every three cats has it. So it has to be some weird biological, evolutionary, whatever. Uh, what's your favorite power in Mario? Um, the power to, um, I guess it'd be the flying cat, because flying would be cool. Cat flying is gotta be one of the most amazing sounding superpowers. Like it's a bad idea for a superpower. 
But like, if someone offered you flying today, they're like, oh yeah, well we ran out of all the good super panels, but we do have flying left. You'd still be like, yeah, I'll take flying. And yeah, if I could fly in real life, I'd be happy. If I could fly everywhere else, then that'll be even better. So many new mods since I start uh, last watching. It's been so long. Yeah, I, 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 I there has been. A, I, I think I added three new mods at once, and they've all been pretty wonderful. So, you know, everyone in chat, quickly say thank you to the moderators. They're the ones that keep the chat readable, so I can keep reading it and seeing all of your messages. Uh, so yeah, quick, quick thank you for the moderators, because um, they're just the best, aren't they? Uh, so yeah, we have visit the Walled City, London Derry, or Derry in Northern Ireland. Uh, I want to go just because it's one of those cities in the world. So there's lots of countries where. Well, there's, in, there's two countries where the name is offensive. But there is literally a city in Northern Ireland where whatever you call the city will offend the other side. And to me, that's like, that's brilliant. That's like perfect for what I like anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, why do streamers never say the name of the user who gets say the suggestion? Says Burns Gaming. Wait, <laughs> wait, I, it'd be fun. It'd, it'd be better if I didn't say your name afterwards. So, um, let's pretend that wasn't from you. No, um, I... I, I do, I think you should ask the question of why do streamers say it, because you could argue most of the chat don't care about who the name is. But for me, it's, it is, it's, it's like a, I like to let people, I, I like to thank people for partic participating in a way, and let you know that, yeah, you know, I'm you know, going to mention you if you say good stuff. Thank you, mods, thank you, mods. So there you go. That's, that's, that. They make, they make the chat more readable for everyone. It's, it's a, it's a wonderful system. So now we're going to take our furnace... Actually, not our furnace. Just our bed. Hey, hello, creeper. What are you? What even are you? I genuinely do not know. I do know I shouldn't be doing this, though. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, so this is a lot of steps. Yeah, Monster Hunter. <laughs> I think that's probably the first, like, encounter I've even had with a mob. And it went pretty well. Oh, so look. There's my question mark box. It actually looks pretty good in... Compared to what it could have been, we're not doing too badly at all, are we? Not doing badly at all. So, Cat, would you rather drink Red Bull or Coke or Fanta? Um, but spelt wrong. Uh, I like Fanta a lot, honestly. Uh, especially, no, sometimes Fanta tastes like kind of orangey and it's good. Sometimes it just tastes like bland orange juice and it's like, eh. So, as far as what would I rather drink? I mean, I drink more Red Bull, but that's because you drink Red Bull for the energy, not the taste. Although it's got a good taste, too. So sure, we'll go with Red Bull. I'll be drinking a Red Bull to wake me up for the airport tomorrow. Because I only discovered I was flying somewhere today. Or, like, I thought I would be, but it was, like, confirmed today. And that was a fun thing, in my opinion. So, Cat, you're the best YouTuber ever. Thank you very much, 007 Jack Garbit. You're the best Jack Garbit ever. There is no Jack Garbit in the world that there's a better Jack Garbit then you are a Jack Garbit. And always remember that. <laughs> Life lessons right there, that's what you can. So this is what our, our oak wood looks like. It's a little bit yellow, so, oh, oak plank, sorry. It's a little bit yellow. So this actually might work out. This might just pan out perfectly in my favor. Also, it's Pokey from Super Mario Bros. too. Thank you for everyone who's uh, been uh, giving me the mobs, because like, I know I should know all the Mario games, but I didn't play most of the 2D ones. And I especially don't know the names for the characters. So that's a thing. So, okay, um, you British people say theatre. Um, it makes no sense. It's fit. It's not fear tray. It's theatre. Uh, I say theatre uh, too. Uh, fret tray. No one says fret tray, bum cheeks. In fact, we don't even say theatre. We say cinema. Uh, you're double wrong with your, your British slander. <laughs> um, also, where are you going? Russia, says Casey Mill. Uh, I'm going to Strasbourg in France, indirectly via Germany. It's gonna be a gonna be a fun day, I think. Do 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 do. Uh, I hate Red Bull. You get yes, get offended if you want. Honestly, okay, you know what? I think the problem with it is I think any sub any not substance. Um, <laughs> although I guess also a substance. Any anything that you drink just to get an effect from. I f I feel like you can learn to hate how it tastes because you kind of not meant to like it. It's like medicine or something. Oh, the cough medicine is delicious, so you know, I, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know what my official thoughts are here besides, eh, who knows, who knows. So yeah, let's, um... Oh, this is looking, this is actually looking good. I think my question mark box is going to be beautiful now, just because of how this is looking. Like, this, this is genuinely yellow and genuinely white, so I think by almost mistaking something, I made something not terrible. That's, that's nice. 
So yeah, that's... Oh, I, I keep pressing the wrong one at first. So we need at least one of these blocks. I think it is actually just one. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. And then we got like a spare column over here, I guess. Do the same thing over here. Just make sure it lines up perfectly. Do, 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 do. Okay. So yeah, this goes to just the right level. Which means I think we've done the question mark basically perfectly. Except the problem is, like, this one right here can't be a question mark. So we need a door. So I'll remove this block right here. And then this can be my doorway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Don't slide away from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 this actually makes sense. So we'll have our, like, our birch plank be here. We, ha we have some birch plank still, so... Okay, watch this, watch this, watch this. So we place our normal plank there like it should. Oh, no, that's still wrong, still wrong. We have to miss out the... There can't be a question mark here. We'll, we'll just go with, like, a, an upside-down question mark, maybe? We could do an upside-down question mark. <laughs> you know what? Sure, why not? What could go wrong with an upside-down question mark? So it's four blocks. One, two, three... And then one going towards... So if that's going towards my right, it would be going towards this right. So it's there. And then we kind of work upwards from here. Uh, Z or Z, I say... Z, Z or Z, I say Z, says Bryden. I have no idea. I always change it. Every single time someone asks me, I give them the other response. It's like, ah, I didn't realize I said that, but apparently I do. So I, I generally have no idea which one I say. And I know that's terrible, but it's what I am or who I am. I'm not sure which. And then birch planks there. And as, yeah, we, we did that just perfectly. So this is what an upside down question mark looks like. It should be exciting. I'm not sure if it, I think I made a mistake here, actually. That's three blocks. That's four blocks. Yeah, this is what I've, <laughs> no, I made it. Everything is off by a block. So we just have to ignore that and just do this one side. You know, that's what we're gonna have to do today. Let's just pretend a little bit, right? Like, can everyone just, you know, just for a little bit. Let's believe this is perfect. Because that's, that's how we're going to have to roll. Can we jump from here? We probably could. Yeah. Do, do, do. Hashtag improv with toy cat. <laughs> I make do everything. That's my shoes says bum cheeks. I mean, it just wasn't. Oh, that looks so good, though. That actually looks like a real wonderful house. You know, official building of toy cat suggestion is... Go ahead and, I guess, go go ahead, build yourself a question mark box. You only need birch wood planks and oak wood planks, and you can make something that looks that good. Like, honestly, I think the fact that birch wood is this white, like, look at it. It's just, it looks like an iron block. Makes, and the fact that, you know, oak planks look like this. They're perfect for building with. Like, this, okay, let's, let's just do some basic stuff. Like, oh, yeah, let's have a block here and a block there. And now look at that pattern. It's beautiful. It's this. Oh, man. Okay. Pro tips of Toy Cat. Good blocks going on here. So before we check it out, though. Z and Z are correct. I, I say both depending on the word, I guess. So let's go back into the Sumeru save in creative. And let's check out all of the blocks because there's some new ones. So we get the new music again, by the way. But yeah, so um, there's a lot of new blocks since I last checked this out. And also, I've, I've kind of forgotten what a lot of the good normal one looks like. Like, you don't see it so well here, but like, so many of these blocks are just like, ooh, the emerald block's amazing to build with. There's a, there's a lot of potential with this uh, this mashup pack, I feel like. Those are the doors. So what new blocks have come out since the last time I checked this out? It would have been the igloo update, so polar bears are new. Let's give them a check. So polar bears. Oh, no, they cheated. These these aren't Super Mario Polar... Oh, I think it's because they need to get the license from Nintendo to use any of their characters. But Polar Bears are just Polar Bears. That's that's not okay. Okay, let's check out Husks and Strayers. So we'll take our zombie. Uh, this is a desert. I guess so. Oh, it's peaceful. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Ooh, what's that like? Oh, Shulkers, Shulkers, Shulkers. So Shulkers are in here somewhere. Oh, look, look at that slowdown. Can you feel it? Wait, is these easy way to check if it is that? And there's just, there's something that's wrong here. It feels like there's slowdown, but I'm not sure if it is. Um, anyway, let's stay on focus. So we want a Shulker spawner. When was the last time you saw Princess Cookie? Missed that little cookie, uh, kitty. I saw her early today, actually. So Shulkers look like, I have no idea what this is meant to be, but that's also something to see. And then check for the old mini game lobby. Oh, is it the, okay. And then there's also that, so. We're going to a game by ourselves. Battle, public game. Uh, sure. No, we want to go into solo. Oh, we can just make a game anyway. Let's, let's see if anyone joins it, actually. No one should, but someone might. And there's only three maps so far, too. So in theory, this is the old, oh, it's the old lobby still. Oh, look at this. We can do all the secrets and see things for the first time. I think, honestly, the crazy secret wasn't that crazy here, though, was it? There was a way out of the map that might not have been patched. Let's believe it hasn't. Okay, it has. <laughs> I wanted to believe it hadn't, but there it is in fact patched. So, uh, yeah, this is the old minigame lobby. There's a few ways out of it, but they have all been fixed, it seems. And you can go around, you can do magic stuff if you want to. In, in my case, not necessarily what we're going for. But you know, you, you might you might like exploring this thing. That bear in mind, again, this this is the only platform which has this lobby. Which is arguably a downside, because it's gonna be updated soon and that just means it's not updated yet. But it still means you can like, relive a little bit of nostalgia. I know, that's exciting to me, like old lobby but in a new world. Oh, can we jump there? No, we can't. So yeah, everything's old and not not fresh. The opposite of fresh. Nostalgic and uh yeah, nostalgic works. You can fire with arrows as well. The bows have durability, apparently, that goes down. That's news to me. <laughs> and then finally, here are the skins you get for free with the game. So you get Super Mario Mashup Pack, all of this. You get all of Battle and Beast, it seems. Uh, so if I wanted to be something. Yeah, we'll use the left thing here. We could be a leopard. Could be an aardvark. Could be a crocodile. We could be anything we want to be. We don't get Battle and Beast 2, it seems. Oh, no, we do. Okay, you get Battle and Beast 1. Bound Beast 2. You don't get Biome Settlers. You don't get Chinese Pathology. You don't get Festive. You don't get other... Th no, you do get other Festive. You get the Mashup Pack, but not the Skin Pack. Okay. Then there's Greek Mythology. Halloween 2015. Red Sun Specialists. And okay, so you, you only get Battle and Beasts, but you get these uh, all for free. You get these two for free. You get this for free. And you also get Festive for free. So, when Christmas rolls around, you'll be able to be a little elf. Look at look at me. I'm a, I'm a small elf. Isn't that the best? And that's a thing you'll be able to do. But as you can see, no one else is online on the Switch right now, so no one can join me. But tomorrow, that will be changed. And also in the future, there'll be updates to this game. So I'm looking forward to seeing all of those things. Hopefully, you did enjoy today's little live stream. Showing off everything to do with Minecraft Switch. I had a lot of fun playing it, and I oh, hopefully, I'll have a video comparing it to the PE out in some point in the next few days. Hopefully, you did enjoy the video. I said hopefully, when we turn time. So you know, whatever the opposite of hopefully is, not hopefully. Uh, have a great day because I'll see you next time. So yeah, I'm going to catch a flight in very quickly. So I'm going to get some sleep in. Bye.